stupid lead ass. first heard the song X last year off of her last album, I just kind of thought that was a one-time thing, the whole metal thing was going to be done after that. Just a quick experimentation, but um, no. This is weird. Stupid ass. The third studio album by Poppy, uh called I Disagree. Now, this character to me has always been a little bit, you know, weird and whatever, until you realize the character that is being played here. So, she went from being this happy, sunshiny, bubblegum pop artist to more alternative music in a way, because it's not fully metal. Let me just put that right on the table right now it's not fully metal but it is it's mixed in there's a lot of thrash and a lot of new metal elements that come into this and on occasions metalcore yes metalcore um, but then there's the more poppier side to the album no pun intended that um that just keep you intrigued but anyway, uh, anyway, I didn't really have a least favorite song. I found all the songs enjoyable somewhat. Some of the songs I found okay, but weren't my best. Concrete, I mean, is it alright in the kickoff? Yes, but I feel like the title track maybe should have been put as the kickoff. I think it would have fit better. Nothing I Need, um, and, yeah, Nothing I Need is and Sit and Stay and si Sick of the Sun are definitely more poppier tracks. They don't feature that much guitar, but they are nice little more kind of ballad -y tracks on the album. It's kind of like after the first half is over, you kind of need that relief, and that's what these songs give you. And my favorite songs, the title track, I Disagree, that was, I think, yeah, that was the first song I had heard for the album. Blood Money was one of the more poppier ones. Actually, it was more kind of like pop rockish because it had that intensity of a rock song but it was driven more by a beat than it was guitar drums whatever we have anything like me which um yeah fill the crown which is i think the second single i had heard from that uh album so those were that and i disagree with only two songs i heard and i really really liked the way it flip back and forth between like this alternative rock and metal to more of a, a pop sound. It really transitioned well. Bite Your Own Teeth, which, Jesus, that just, um, that's probably the heaviest song on the album because this is where I said the metalcore elements come into play because there is like a metalcore-esque breakdown on this song. So I just, yeah. And Poppy does her screaming for a little bit on that one too. It's a short song, I wish it was longer, but it's pretty hardcore. And then the final track, Don't Go Outside, which actually kind of does what Kendrick Lamar did in Damn, if you remember his last song. He kind of reverses back to everything he did in the song, except in this one, the song reverses back to the songs I disagree and fill the crown with the lyrics of the chorus. So, yeah. Um, an intriguing listen full of many different endeavors and definitely one of the more darker albums by Poppy. Like I said, it used to be all bright, sunshiny and all that, which she had some good songs doing it, but um, the EP, the Choke EP, where I had heard the Fever 333 feature, that's when I knew I'm like, okay, this metal thing is not a joke. She might continue to use this on in her music because sometimes you find her really sounding like really heavy or kind of like Nine Inch Nails Aphex Twin type where it's like this weird beat put in but it's like super super like bouncy and just you, you know it's going to be a dark song with the way it sounds plus a lot of the lyrics are darker and overall it was just a nice listen. Stupid ass. So with this I think 
I have to give it a solid 9 out of 10. This is up for Album of the Year already, and it is only the first week of January. Well, second, depending on who you ask. I mean, it is the 10th, so I guess it is the start of the second week of January, or in the middle of the second week of January. She did a, a good job here. May have hyped this album a little too much, and by that I mean, like, she made it out like it was going to be the heaviest thing ever, and it wasn't so much heavy, but she also never said it was going to be metal either. I can at least get with that article with her on it where she said, I never said my album was metal, I just said it was kind of genre-defining in a way. And She's right, we'll look back at this album five, ten years from now and go, you know, that album was really, because she's bringing something back into the mainstream that's been missing. I mean, she is a popular pop artist, and she's, she's bringing this new metal sound that's practically been, not dead, but like, just not in the picture for years, bringing it back up while keeping the more alternative metal aspect and still the pop aspect to her songs. So, great job with this one. Would definitely go recommend a listen. You guys can tell me in the comments below what did you think of this album. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And, with that being said, I will catch you all in the next one.